Hello everyone. My name is Kaz from Kaz Yogini. Thank you for being here to practice together. Let's make sure your feet are touching the ground, completely rolling the shoulders down. Make sure you're sitting on the chair without the arm of the chair. Opening up your chest, spine lengthen. Let's close our eyes, tuning inward by paying attention to your breath. Breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the nose. Repeat, breathing in through the nose, then breathing out, empty your lungs. As we continue to breathe deep, for today's practice as our intention, I want you to think about all the things that you couldn't do before, but now you can. What are the things that you thought you could never do, but now you can without any effort. So there are so many things that would be challenging to us at the beginning, but then you work on it. As you work hard towards it, you get used to it. And after you look back, you might realize that there's actually so many things that you accomplished in your life. So let's think about those things. Just first couple things that pops in your head as you breathe deep through the nose. Spine still lengthen. slowly open your eyes welcome back all right let's start our practice from hugging your shoulders today so it doesn't matter which elbow is on top make sure you're holding on to your shoulders maybe if you can lift the elbows and try to walk your hands back 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 holding on to rather back side of your shoulders when you're ready let's inhale to lift your elbows and then swing it to the side Bring it down as you exhale, inhale to bring it back to center, lift it up to the opposite direction. You're drawing a figure eight in sideways, or you can call it the infinity mark. So as you inhale, you're gonna lift up, and then exhale to bring down. Inhale to lift up, exhale to bring down. Lifting up as you inhale, moving your shoulders, and then swinging your upper body from side to side. Big figure eight or infinity sign. And then when you're ready, let's come back to stillness. We're gonna switch sides. So have, hug yourself a nice big hug. You can even walk your hands to the side of the shoulders. Maybe you can touch the shoulder blades if that's the case for you, try it. Otherwise you can keep your hands on top so it's really completely up to you inhale to bring your elbows up and let's go to the other side to the side exhale bring your elbows down inhale in center lift it up exhale down breathing through the nose you can go as fast or you can go slow it's completely up to you giving yourself a big hug don't forget to breathe. And then when you're ready, let's come up back to center. You're gonna open up your arms, looking up, inhale, see your hands touch over the head. Exhale, hands back to the heart center. Couple more of those. Inhale, lifting it up. Exhale, hands back to your heart. One more time with gratitude. Inhale, gathering up all the energy from the universe. Exhale, put the energy back to the heart center. All right, from here, can you lift the elbows? You're gonna bend your wrists, hopefully 90 degree angle. Inhale to lift the elbows, pressing down with those two hands. And then exhale, straighten out your wrists. Inhale, lifting the elbow, so your hand stays in front of the heart the whole time. Exhale, inhale, and then exhale. 
let's rotate our wrist by bringing your fingers forward and then down and then inhale fingers up maybe you can bring it towards your chest again fingers up inhale exhale fingers down inhale to lift it up exhale to your chest one more time inhale spine lengthen exhale to the front inhale and then exhale great job keep your palms touching still let's bring your hands together to your right side of your chest still elbow lifting and you're gonna look towards your left looking over your left shoulder still pushing with your palms together inhale back to center exhale to the other side looking over your right shoulder still pressing down firmly with your both hands and then inhale back to center great job all right from here let's do a little twist so your left hand can touch the back of the chair or side of the chair inhale lengthen through the spine and then exhale twisting towards your left twist 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 your head is the last one to turn looking at the back of the chair and then inhale slowly come back to the other side so wherever you can touch on the back of the chair or the side of the chair inhale spine lengthen exhale twisting then inhale slowly bringing your gaze back to the center great job all right from here you're gonna place your left knee on top of the right okay and you can hold on to the sides of your chair swinging your knees from side to side side to side if you can place the ankle over the thigh just like this and then bring both of your knees from side to side side to side just like we did on the other videos if you have been watching my videos just like this and then when you're ready let's hold on to this top knee and then slowly draw this top knee down towards the floor so you can get nice sliding motion with your hands if you wish if you have your knees on top of another you can still give a nice massage to the top of the side towards your knee and then from here you can either hold your body forward by holding on to the chair like this or have your elbow excuse me ankle over the side and then spine lengthen and then fold then make sure your right ankle is right below the knee getting a nice support from this foot on the ground so that you're not gonna fall And then inhale slowly come up let's switch the legs so right and go over your left knee or the side or the knee on top completely up to you swinging both knees from side to side either this or this and then when you are feeling ready let's slide the hand down towards the knee either in this pose or knee on top of one another sending lots of love to the knee make sure you're still sitting up tall and when you're ready you can stay in this pose upright or holding on to the chair and then keeping your back straight as much as you can and then lean forward or knees on top of one another and then lean forward Breathing in deep and then breathing out deep. Notice how you're feeling on this posture. And then inhale, slowly come up. And then release the leg. Good job. All right, let's stretch the toes here. You're gonna lift the heel. You're gonna place the balls of your feet down to the earth. So lifting the heels, feel a nice stretch to the toes here and then drop your heels down. Again, inhale to lift the heels up, exhale to drop it down. Inhale to lift it up, I hope you are taking off your shoes and then exhale, drop it down. One more time, inhale to lift the heels and then exhale, drop it down. Good job everybody. You're gonna place your 
right knee to your chest holding on to the shins or back of your knee and then from here you're gonna sit up nice and tall here inhale here and then as you exhale you're gonna bring your knee towards your chest furthermore and then inhale give yourself a nice space between the knees and your chest exhale draw the knee to your chest and then inhale Exhale, maybe you can point the toe, straighten out your leg, your foot, and then inhale, flexing the foot. Exhale, point the toe, and then inhale, flex the foot. One more time here, spine lengthen, inhale, point the toe, exhale. All right, let's extend the knee here. And you're gonna rotate the ankle here, both directions. then maybe you can point the toe maybe you can lean back a little bit engage this core your abdominal muscle roll your shoulders down stay here if you want to challenge yourself try to remove your hands still pointing the toe still lifting the knee back straight inhale and then exhale hold inhale and then exhale slowly release your leg down Whew, good job all right you can give a nice massage to the quads working on the other side inhale to lift your left knee to your chest you can hold on to the shin or back of your side okay inhale to lengthen the spine and then as you exhale let's pull that knee towards your chest you can also point that toe here if you wish inhale to lower a little bit inhale knee to the chest point the toe exhale flex the foot inhale exhale one more time inhale and then exhale all right from here let's point the toe extending the knee straight forward rolling the shoulders down um, try avoiding from rounding the spine here you're still lifting the crown inhale here engage the core maybe you can lean back a little bit as you exhale maybe you can remove your hands staying here inhale exhale still lifting the knee inhale and then exhale slowly with control place the foot back down onto the mat great job everybody holding on to the sides of your chair swinging your knees from side to side you can separate those feet side to side side to side all right let's try our warrior one and two swinging both of your knees to your left okay and then placing your left foot to the complete side of your chair i'm using my block and then the back knee is gonna walk back walk back walk back you may stay here with the knee bent if you can extend the knee go ahead and do so toe is pointing up 45 degree angle my hips are completely facing to the left side of my chair sitting on to my left hip okay so in this pose uh, try to notice how you're feeling in this posture do you feel pretty much grounded or do you feel a little bit wobbly if that's the case you can place the back foot more to the side for stability rolling the shoulders down you can hold on to the back of the chair maybe you can reach your right arm up towards the sky try lifting both arms if you feel stable and secure inhale to reach your arms up and then exhale bringing your shoulder blades down opening up your heart inhale and then exhale both hands down all right you're gonna shift your hip from here working on our warrior two so that means you're gonna lift your back foot more behind you and then toes gonna point out 90 degree angle my hip is now open towards the center so this is our warrior two all right when you're feeling nice and secure have your both ends reaching out to the opposite direction it's easy for the heart to reach towards this left knee but you're gonna push your heart back you still wanna keep your chest over your hips rolling the shoulders down and looking at your left hand inhale exhale inhale 
As you exhale, let's bring your elbow down to this knee. And then inhale, reaching up is the right arm. In this pose, I really want you to lift the heart. Try to reach the ceiling. Inhale, lifting it up. As you exhale, let's bring your arm over the head. This one is called side angle. You can always practice in front of the mirror to see if you're making a straight line from this lifted hand and to the back heel. Hopefully you're making a nice, beautiful straight line. Or you can look down or look to the front or look up. And then engaging the core the whole time, not pressing too much on this elbow. When you're ready, let's come back up. Inhale, back to warrior two. And then from this pose, working on our reverse warrior, you can touch the back of the chair and then flipping your left palm up. Inhale, reaching forward a little bit. And then inhale, lifting your left arm all the way up towards the sky. And you're not gonna fall because you're holding on to this back of the chair. Lifting it up, lifting it up, lifting it up. Inhale here, and then exhale, let's come back to warrior two. Great job, everybody. Hands together to the heart, and then you're gonna touch the chair. Let's move on to the other side. So bringing the knees together, move slow, and then let's rock your knees from side to side, and then both knees kind of face towards the right side of the mat. Excuse me, your chair. And then you're gonna place both of your hip bones facing completely towards the right side of the chair. Back knees gonna walk back, walk back, keeping the knee bent. Or if you can, extend toes pointing at 45 degree angle. Now I'm completely sitting down just on my right hip. Okay, when you're ready, you can hold on to the back of the chair. Left hand is gonna reach up when you feel nice and secure. And then maybe you can bring both of your arms up. Looking at the sky if you can. Inhale to reach both of your arms up towards the sky. As you exhale, draw your shoulder blades down towards the tailbone. Inhale. And then exhale, let's bring both of your hands down. And then shifting your hips slightly so that your hip bone is open towards the side. I'm turning my toe out towards the front. This is gonna be our warrior two. When you're feeling nice and secured, both hands gonna reach out to the side. Make sure your heart is not passing uh, the hip. You still wanna keep your heart over your hips. Roll the shoulders down, inhale, give a nice little smile. And looking at your right hand. Inhale here, exhale, notice how you're feeling in this posture, inhale, exhale, bend the elbow to the knee, your left arm is going to reach up, reach up, lifting the heart, not pressuring too, too much to this side with the elbow, inhale, as you exhale, let's now reach over the head, straight line from this top hand to the back heel. You can look down or you can try looking up. Notice how you're feeling on the neck. When you're ready, inhale, slowly come up, engage the core. Both arms gonna reach out to the side. Okay, back hand is gonna touch the chair. Flip your right palm up, inhale. Exhale, let's lean back slightly to lift your right arm towards the sky. Really try to touch the ceiling believe you can touch the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, still keeping that posture. Inhale. And then exhale, let's come back to warrior two. Great job, everybody. Hands together to the heart with gratitude. And then touch the chair. All right, let's walk your knees together, slowly, mindfully. Each movement, I want you to be mindful. All right, with your breath. And you can swing your knees from side to side, releasing all the tension from the hip socket. Great job, everybody. All right, from here, let's stand up. I'm gonna move that chair to the side so that you can see me better. And I don't need this block anymore. Okay, from here, let's start with the downward facing dog. 
So you're gonna walk your feet back and back and back, holding on to the back of the chair, keeping your feet in hip width distance. You're gonna point your toe towards the chair. Inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, pushing your hip back and then draw your sternum down towards the floor. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, chest is coming even deeper towards the floor. You can micro bend your knees here to protect your lower back. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Exhale, feel the armpit area opening up. On our next inhale, slowly lifting the head at the same time, walk your feet towards the chair. Coming back to standing. Great job, everybody. Let's open up all your toes here. Your feet are still in a hip width distance. Roll your shoulders down. We're gonna practice mountain pose. So have your hands onto the chair or have your hands by your hip. Palms gonna face forward. Rolling the shoulders down, hugging your thighs together, engaging your glute, navel to the spine. Opening up your chest by rolling your shoulders down. Chin slightly tucked under so that you can feel a nice stretch on the back of your neck. Crown is reaching towards the sky. At the same time, your arm is trying to reach towards the earth with soft fingers. Closing the eyes. Feeling the sensation in your body. With each breath you take. You can think about your intention here. What are all the things that you thought you couldn't, but you can do it now. That way when you face new challenges, you can always look back and then tell yourself, look, I've done this. I thought I could never do it, but I've done it. So that will give you more courage to do more new things. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes, join the hands together. Let's stretch the uh, side of our body. You're gonna lift your arms up towards the sky. You can cross the thumbs together. And then you're gonna lift it up, reaching up. As you inhale, lengthening the spine. Maybe you can look up. And then as you exhale, let's lean towards the right. Keeping the balance, push your hip towards your left. Arms gonna lean towards the right. And then inhale, coming back to center, keeping the balance. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to the opposite direction. Push your hip to the right, arms to your left. Don't fall. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, hands together to the heart. Phew, great job. All right, let's step back with the right foot. Big step back. You're gonna start with the warrior two so turn the toe out and bending this front knee you can hold on to the chair hopefully your knee is over your ankle knee is not passing the toe right and then squeeze your left glute here as you sink down to this knee okay so inhale to lengthen the straight knee the front knee and then exhale bend the front knee Inhale, exhale, squeeze this glute, inhale, relax the glute, exhale, squeeze. Maybe you can reach your arms over, inhale, exhale, bend the knee, inhale, exhale, great job. All right, let's hold on to the chair, this back Palms gonna face up over the head. Maybe you can reach towards the chair. And then inhale, let's come back to the center. Great job. All right, working on the other side. So you're gonna bring this back foot back to the center, back to the front. I'm gonna step back with the left foot, big step back. Point the toe out, bending this front knee. Warrior two on the other side. So let's 
Roll your shoulders down. Inhale to straighten out this front knee. As you exhale, bend the knee, squeeze this back hip. Left glute. Inhale. Exhale. Long, steady breath. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe you can reach your arms out. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. Bend in the knee. Squeeze this back hip. Inhale. One last time. Exhale. Sinking down. With control. Inhale. And then exhale. Let's bend the knee. Holding on to that chair. Back palms gonna face up. Inhale. Let's lift your arm up. Reaching up towards the sky. Still bending this knee. Exhale. Leaning towards your chair. Side body stretching on the left side. And then inhale. Come back to your warrior two. Great job, everybody. All right. Holding on to the chair. Step forward. And then let's shake it off. You can shake your hands, bend your knees one at a time. You can rotate the ankle if you wish. All right, coming back on the chair. Great job, everybody. All right. Let's do a little bit of a ear massage here. So first, you're going to touch the bottom of your ears and then just give a little nice massage, round circle motion here with the thumb and your point finger. And then now you're going to move up a little bit, just a little bit. Now you're going to massage there. That's for your neck. So the first one, bottom one was for your eyes. And the second one was for your neck. Moving up, slightly up. So in the center of your ear, you're going to massage there. That's for your shoulders. I'm just doing some arc point. All right, and then moving up slightly, tiny bit up. Do a little circular movement here. So that one is for your hips, if you have any lower back pain. Now you're going to touch the very top part, the most highest part of your yellow ears. You're going to do a nice circular movement here. That's for your knees, for any knee pain or knee issues. And then now you're going to move your hands toward your face, towards your head. So it's still top, but it's more, most closest to your face. Circular movement here. That's for your stress. So if you are stressing out, give yourself a nice massage there. And then when you're ready, re release your hands, hands back on your knees or the thighs. All right, you're gonna lift your heart, crown is reaching for the sky. If you feel a little bit tired, you can lean back to the back of the chair. Otherwise, I would recommend you to sit up nice and tall. That's gonna require um, core work and the back muscle to stay still in this posture. So let's work that muscle too as we meditate. So closing the eyes, chin slightly tucked in a little bit. You can think about your intention here if you wish. All the things that you thought you couldn't do, but you can do it without any effort right now. Or let any emotions, any feelings, thoughts rise up to you and let them float away without any judgment. 